Hi. Today I'm going to talk about being prepared for some type of emergency. Of course, you know, you know that I do have solar. Um, but in an emergency situation where your lights are out, how are you going to cook? How are you going to heat up water? How are you going to do a lot of things? Well, I'm going to do a little review on my Coleman camp stove. Um, I've had this a few years now. I, I do rarely use that, as you can see. Um, it, this does take the butane fuel and you're more than welcome to have a camp stove with propane or butane. I prefer the butane because one, the cylinders are actually smaller, way smaller as you can tell. Now I ordered these off of eBay. Um, they're ES butane gas canisters, cartridges. Um, when I ordered these, I ordered, I believe, 12, I'm not sure, they were fairly cheap, they were like, for 12 of them, they were like $25, but, right here, we actually have a percolator that was really cheap, it is $10, $12, something like that, I, I believe, at Walmart, uh, we also have a teapot, a tea kettle, for heating strictly nothing but water and I'm gonna show you how to use this first pull the top cap off open your canister your uh, stove here now you will see a small notch right here on the can you slide your can in And you make sure that notch lines up right here with this piece. Okay? Now you push your handle down. Once you make sure it's lined up. Now let me make sure that's in there right. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Push it down all the way. Make sure it locks into place. Close your lid. Now to start these, you got an igniter. You just turn your handle all the way over, and it ignites right here. And you can see the flame is on. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to show you again, all the way around and you'll hear it click and it comes on. Now the one thing I do absolutely hate about these is I hate how um, these holders right here where you set your pots and stuff on are made. Um, they do not actually fit very well with the percolator. It, it's really hard to get it to set level. Now I'm going to turn this down to minimum so I just don't burn my fuel out. And you can tell you can adjust this uh, pretty much next to nothing. I'm going to put some water in this and then I'm going to come back. Okay, now what I did is I put about this much water. It's over half. Looks like just over half. Now I did turn the stove off. So I'm going to set this on here. I'm going to put the lid on. And we're going to see how long this takes to actually make this go off. So here we go I'm just gonna put it on high I'm gonna leave it on high uh, like I said the one thing I do hate about any of these stoves I, I apologize for the quality of this video not only did this camera stink but it eats batteries and my batteries are almost dead um, it was 1009 when I started this and like I said I don't like the way they design these here um, I will show you hopefully my batteries last long enough um, me using the percolator it's a lot harder to use than something like a teapot because it's just hard to get it stationary right in the middle well you can tell it has a good flame on it the the one canister I am showing you with I have been using two years I mean that that's how little we use this but we have actually used it when the lights have gone out and we needed a way to heat food 
heat water. Um, we have made coffee on this using our little percolator. It's a cheap percolator, as you can tell. And on the side of the percolator, I pretty much tried to mark um, pretty much where six and eight cups is. I never go over eight cups of water in this because it will boil out the front. And it was just a cheap little percolator. I believe we bought this at Walmart. Now this little Coleman, I really like it as far as a single burner stove. Um, you can tell it has a really good flame on it. So, but it, like I said, it's a single burner stove. Pro, uh, this is butane. You're more than welcome to get propane. But to me, um, storing 12 cans of butane or more is a lot smaller than those green propane bottles. So, to me, this was a better value, better deal. In our little apartment, you can see, I mean, this is our studio apartment um, it is just small if I stand basically in the middle of our apartment it's I don't know 10 feet 12 feet maybe on each side of me is the walls bathrooms right there takes out part of it so you know it is really really tiny And it does put out some heat. I mean, I can feel the heat from here. And hopefully, like I say, the, hopefully the batteries last long enough to actually get all this. Um, if you feel that it's not heating in the one place you want it to heat, just turn it down a little bit and you can concentrate the heat more or less in one place I mean this flame is so high it's coming basically up part of the side over here I don't know if you can see that but it's definitely heating up so I'm gonna turn this down a little and it's not exactly centered very well but um, like I said there's, there's quite a bit of water in there but this is my review on our little Coleman and it does have uh, carry case that you put it in and like I said I bought butane off of eBay way cheaper than I could get it at any store and these canisters actually work extremely well um, they are no different made no different they have the exact same amount of fuel in them as the Coleman um, cylinder that I'm using now but like I said, we've already started using this Coleman cylinder. And we've been using it, oh geez, I, I have no idea how long. I mean, we rarely use this stove. Uh, mostly, if the lights go out, which rarely happen where we live here now. Um, not often at all. So, but we're so glad we have it. Um the lights went out a couple months ago and it was only out for like four hours so you know that's nothing compared to where we used to live in Texas the lights would go out for days literally days so we decided when we moved to Montana we wanted to be prepared and we bought solar we bought a little camp stove we have bottled water under the sink. I don't know if you can hear this. But you can tell that you can hear the noise coming out of it. Um, this one I don't believe whistles like some do. Uh, I could be wrong, but it might. Uh, like I say, we rarely use this stuff. This, this is basically for emergencies. But we have packs of ramen noodles down there well the cups you know that are really cheap so if the lights go out all we have to do is heat up some water and we have a meal uh, we have a percolator unless you have instant coffee which is fine Th this is actually just fine with instant coffee 
of course any pot you can use to heat water in to make instant coffee or make like ramen noodles um, we do have a pack of ramen noodles that we have put back we also have coffee put back but then again I can run my solar and make coffee if I need to during the winter I wouldn't do it it, it just drops so much power but in the summer it would be no problem um, like I said this is a review on the Coleman um, I'm actually trying to get my hands on a Zebco Cadillac converter uh, Cadillac um, heater yep there it goes you can hear it so it took five six seven minutes to boil to where it was whistling okay let's turn this off and this is going to be really super hot So that's really really hot okay um, we don't have a lot of room here so I just have to set this down somewhere now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little water I'm gonna take this out of our percolator I'm gonna put some water in this and I'll be back okay I'm back I put about six six and a half cups of water in here now as you can see this has little grooves right here I don't know if you can actually see them or not. Little grooves, little notches in there. I don't know why they did that because something like this just doesn't fit right. Um, so it, it's really hard to line this up. I mean, I, I, it's possible, it just takes forever. And it lifts it up so high that some of the heat doesn't get to where you want it. But um, I'm just going to set that down however I can get it. That's probably as close as I'm going to be able to get it. And you can see it's on. And you can see, um, okay, yeah, I believe I have about six cups of water in there. Uh, the way it's, it's made, the way it's formed, it's bigger at the bottom and goes slender to the top. I mean, you can hear it immediately. Of course, that is on high. Um, that This, of course, won't whistle. But 1018, I put it on. Actually, 10, pretty close to 1019. Um, so, if you want something, is a backup way to cook these are wonderful uh, you can heat water in a regular pan for things like instant ramen you know ramen noodles or instant coffee you can cook on these and these cylinders actually last a pretty good long while um, they say each one of these cylinders lasts an hour well I think they last a little bit longer than that I, I really do uh, like I say we've actually cooked on this one cylinder for quite a bit and not here uh, when we first moved here we bought a little minivan that we were actually staying in a lot because we hadn't got an apartment we hadn't neither one of us had a job so we're basically living out of our van and this is what we cooked on and we did that for a while um, it's nice and small it's sturdy built and like I said the butane actually to me the butane does last longer than the propane it just seems like it does so and I guess it does depend on this type of pot you're using how hot, quick it heats up but we've cooked food on this things like ravioli um, you have to constantly stir it, trust me on that. You don't want it to stick to your pot. But, this is a really good little camp stove. Built extremely well. And you can get butane, like I said, extremely cheap on eBay. 
way cheaper than you can go to Walmart and get a can for. So, and they'll send it to your door. Um, like I said, you can you can just hear it. So, this is my review on our Coleman camp stove. I know I just posted a video about um, using solar in winter. I apologize for the camera and the quality. This camera just chews up batteries. These batteries are nearly dead. This camera just really stinks. But I wanted to talk to you about being prepared. Um, we actually have a couple cans of ravioli, some uh, beefaroni, and some ramen noodles put back for an emergency situation only. Uh, about once every six months, we'll rotate the ravioli and beefaroni and ramen noodles. And it's something that's really cheap that you can store for six months at a time. Um, so if you need it, you have it. Most people don't think about that. Ramen noodles are, what, under $2 or just, just over $2 for like a six pack worth of cups. Or you could get 12 pack without the veggies in it, without the cup. So that's something you can store for a little while. If you need it, you have food, a way to cook. And like I say, I, I understand I ramble a lot. Unfortunately, I don't know what to say about this, except for it's a good little stove. Um... You can probably find these online or something like this. It does not have to be Coleman. Now, I don't get paid by Coleman. Uh, you can tell we have a lot of other things. And I'm not hawking their Coleman butane canisters. Considering, well... The canisters down there I have are offline. So, you know. But as far as the little camp stoves... This Coleman is built extremely well. It works well. You don't have to have matches or anything to light it with. Yeah, I can see the heat coming off that. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to turn that off because that is... Yep, that's toasty. That's hot, hot. Um, I'd advise if you have one of them. You also have one of these. <laughs> Because that is really hot. As you can tell. And it's 24 after. So it took, what, um, six, seven, eight minutes maybe to heat that water to actually boiling to where steam. It's still steaming in my sink. I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend just left. I haven't washed up the breakfast bowls yet. But, yeah, I don't know if you can see. It's still steaming. But, yes, it's definitely hot. And when you take your cylinder out, open that up. Right here is your release. And that's cold. Take it out. Close it up. And put the cap back on for later use. And like I said, I, I'm not I'm saying go out and buy Coleman anything. I'm just saying a review on this. And I'm saying if you are worried about being prepared, get something like this. Alright? I don't care what brand it is. I don't care if it uses propane or butane. To me, butane makes more sense. I understand you can fill up propane in a lot of places. And you can actually hook propane up to a large tank. But as far as storing it, if you have to run if you have to run something off little bottles, you know, something that you can store that doesn't take up a lot of room makes more sense to me. I mean even if these cans only use, you know, give out an hour, 
I have 10 hours worth of butane just in this box. You know, and if you're cooking, you're not going to cook for 10 hours. You know, in an emergency situation, you're going to be cooking for 10 minutes. And so I have, what, 600, if, if you figure it that way, 600 hours worth of cooking fuel here, uh, 10 minutes at a time. You know, so, and like I say, if each one lasts an hour, which I found that they actually last longer than that. Um, like I said, this, this, oh, we got this. I'm not sure when we got this. I know it has been quite a while, but, you know, they're just the eight ounce. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to be prepared for an emergency, get one of these little camp stoves. Um, they, if you're going to be outside, you can get a little wood stove, you know, anything you can cook with. But if you're worried about cooking in the house, get something like this. If you can afford it, you can find them fairly cheap on eBay. Um, Walmart has them. I believe I paid around 25 for this one. I know that's 25 bucks. So, like I said, I'm not trying to sell Coleman. That is what we have. Um, and like, like I say, Coleman has their own butane. But you can buy butane from other brands that will work just fine. And keep a little bit of fuel stored back. Um, even if you only have two cans of this thing, think about it. Um, if you're only cooking or heating water... And me just heating water to where it was boiling, literally steaming and boiling in either the percolator or the tea kettle took like six minutes. You know, for you know, six minutes for the tea kettle, six minutes for the percolator. So you can make coffee if you have it set right, you could probably make coffee in six six minutes, six to eight minutes. If you just have to heat water enough to where you can make like ramen noodles. Uh, you can do it in probably five using something like this or even a regular pot you can heat water up in less than 10 minutes on this so and as far as cooking uh, throw some I don't know if you're unless you're making something like macaroni and cheese that takes a while to boil and cook but if you're making something like ravioli beefaroni that all you have to do is heat up you can heat it up in a matter of minutes so your fuel is going to last you quite a long time Especially if you have some put back. Anyway, this video is extremely long. I apologize for the length. I apologize for the quality. Um, the camera is just keeps trying to shut down on me because the batteries are dead. But I wanted to show you our camp stove. Uh, I may not post another video for a while. I actually have to figure what I'm going to post. I'm not sure. I have to think about that. But, anyway, like I said, if you're preparing for an emergency, or even if you're just going camping, these little camp stoves are wonderful. Literally. Um, you know, I wanted to give a shout out to some people. I don't even know their names, but I've seen some of their videos where they're talking about, you know, the $10 dollar store challenge. Um, hey, people... I have a recommendation for you. When you go to the dollar store, instead of buying a bunch of stuff um, to haul water, you know, why don't you just buy some freezer bags and fill that with water? I mean, it'd be a lot easier than buying a heavy, hard container. I mean, you can still buy something like a dog bowl to cook in, but I mean, can you imagine how much water you can carry with like 30 freezer bags? I mean, think about that. Anyway, I, once again, I apologize for the length of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I understand it's kind of boring. But, my review on our little Coleman camp stove that uses butane, not propane, the butane cylinders, out of a 10, I would give it a 10. We have used it numerous times. Um, it, I mean, the thing still looks brand new. We've had it a couple years easily. We've used it a couple times. 
with no problems. So, you know, like I said, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's easy to start. All you have to do is put the fuel in it and go. And it, it's not exactly that heavy. It's still kind of warm. I mean, it does weigh 10 pounds, I believe. So, there's a little heft to it. And it's built pretty good. So, anyway, this is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone have a good day. Stay warm, stay safe. And we'll see you on my next one.